All right, guys, Good Boy 32 here, checking out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack, and I'm having a cup of coffee early this morning. It is Saturday, uh, January 25th. So yesterday, the Commonwealth of Virginia, the uh, wonderful delegates up there in what they call the uh, House of Delegates Public Safety Committee. Now, I'm reading this right off my computer right here. One guy says, hey, all you're doing is reading the news. Well, I'm going to give you some insight on each one of the bullet points we're getting ready to talk about. All right, so what do they do? They passed the red flag law, or they advanced the red flag law. Doesn't mean it's been signed into law yet, but they've advanced it to a, for a vote on the floor. A red flag law which takes guns away from people believed to be a risk to themselves or others. The Senate passed a version earlier this week. Okay, so what is a red flag law? Well, it's a unconstitutional law that uh, creates a, an environment where a, an individual can file a complaint against another individual who they fear is uh, a danger to others or themselves. A judge makes a call on it and they can, without due process, go and confiscate those firearms from that individual. The bad part about it is, yeah, undue process. There's no due process. The person is not able to defend themselves prior to the removal of the firearm from their home which is really kind of sick and the possibility that somebody could just you know not like you and be able to, to do one of these things uh, again the the idea is that there is no due process and uh, secondly is how the hell do you get your firearms back anyway haven't heard any specific specificities on how this is supposed to happen all right, universal gap background checks to include private sales. This does exclude family member to family member. But also what it does is that uh, you can't just loan a firearm to somebody who you know can legally possess and uh, have a firearm. You have to actually, if, say, for instance, your buddy at work wants to go deer hunting and doesn't have a deer rifle, you actually have to do a transfer to that individual. It's absolutely sick. Also to include, they did advance the bill that says you cannot purchase more than one firearm or pistol. I think, I'm not sure if it excludes uh, rifles, but firearms once a month. Now, what really sucks is that like a YouTuber like myself, and we're inundated with uh, companies that want to send us firearms for testing, which means that that, yes, that includes transfers from companies for us to go do testing. Now, thank God I live in North Carolina, but I, literally that doesn't mean a damn thing to the Virginians. Uh, we've got the same group of people right here in North Carolina that are trying to pass the same thing. It's the same group of individuals. They're usually from Charlotte, Asheville, Cary, uh, Raleigh, uh, Durham, uh, Greensboro. It's the same jackasses who are continuously trying to do the same thing. So the one gun a month deal is absolutely ridiculous and what they're trying to say is one of the delegates is like well we've noticed a, a trend that uh, crimes in other states are made from guns that were purchased in virginia and we don't want to be a part of that i want to see some provable matrix i want to see some measure where that is actually true because the, for the most part the democrats have nothing but spewed lies out of their mouth when it comes to gun controls they it create Statistics out of nowhere, especially when it comes to Moms Demand Action Now and that Bloomberg dude who's actually blowing more of his own money. And honestly, I feel like that guy's going to be the, the candidate for the Democrats because he is spending more money. It's absolutely disgusting what that guy has done with the created more lies and disgusting mess. It's nothing but a big old pile of, you know what, laying on the, just slapped in the Northern Virginia area. And besides, they've already said those patriots who went to the rally up there in, in Richmond, they don't care. It's not going to sway their opinion anyway because you, the patriots, you don't mean anything to these guys in the guise of community safety. It's absolutely BS, and they know it, and you know it. All right, moving forward. Uh, letting localities ban guns in public places. Well, what actually this is, is the ability to have local municipalities can create ordinances simply sim similar to what Springfield, Illinois did when they said, well, we just don't want these so-called assault weapons in our community. So we're going to ban the ownership and possession within our city limits or our little uh, village limits, which is absolutely bullshit. Unreal. So <laughs> uh, I, I'm, I'm laughing at this whole thing because what if you have a huge collection of these so-called sporting rifles like you and I have with a 30-round magazine, which is the typical magazine that every firearm of this type comes with? What if you have a huge collection, all of a sudden they have an ordinance and they enact this thing, next thing you know, 
you're a, a felon or whatever else. You're in violation and you either have to storm outside. It's, it's bullshit that these counties and these municipalities can just create their own stuff. But hence, haha, alas, the sanctuary cities and those sanctuary counties are sending a huge message to the little bullshit, little blue areas up here in northern Virginia. Those areas that don't care about the rest of Virginia. This is symbiot is symbol similar to the entire country where you've got countries, uh, <laughs> uh, states like Washington or Oregon or California, New York, Illinois, Maryland, now Virginia. The little masses control the rest of the state and they will take their bullshit bull socialist communistic ideas and enforce it upon you. And that's where the sanctuary thought is going to progress. And we're moving Suffolk County up in New Jersey is, is a huge trend. You've got counties in North Carolina who are going ahead and being proactive and moving forward with it. Sending a message beforehand, and I guarantee you this right now, more and more Republicans are getting ready to ramp up and start running against the bullshit communist and socialistic enforcing of bullshit laws on you. Usa. All right. Increasing penalties for leaving guns unsecured around children. And what they did was they increased the age from a child from 13 to like 18. So if your kid's 18 years old and somehow gets their hands on one of your firearms, guess what, Dad? You're going to jail. So they turned family members into criminals overnight. Anyone under protective order can't have a gun, which a Republican supported. People have to report lost or stolen guns within 24 hours, a bill that also had Republican support. Now, I will tell you this. The reason why they're doing this is because they're going to pull some bullshit with the grandfather clause with the uh, so-called sporting rifle ban. So when you don't register that firearm, and if you are caught with that firearm, guess what? You did not report it lost or stolen, which turns you into a felon. It's all a... Bullshit rap around trying to screw you, the general public, the person who is entitled to their Second Amendment. Shall not be infringed does not mean a damn thing to these people in Richmond. Guys, let me tell you something. I am absolutely fired up. This is the kind of bullshit we have to fight every single day. And it's exhausting because I know like you and myself, we get pretty emotional on this stuff. And every now and then you just want to take a break from it. We can't. It's a disgusting measure. That these individuals up in Northern Virginia and in D.C., if they're a Democrat, they do not care about your rights. All they want to do is take your money, take your vote, and destroy anything that you believe in in the Constitution. The First Amendment is on its way out. Just had a gentleman send me uh, some information on a bill that was introduced that you can't criticize a public person in government. Oh, there goes the First Amendment. The Fourteenth Amendment's gone. Your private property is going to be uh, <laughs> confiscated without due process. Believe me, ladies and gentlemen, I am absolutely fired up about this stuff. I want you to leave your comments down below. Let me know what your thoughts are about this bullshit. Because what they're trying to do right now is they're revamping and trying to figure out how they're going to move forward with the assault weapons ban. Because all they want to do is make sure that you do not have the ability to protect yourself because these idiots in Northern Virginia, just because they don't own a gun, means that you shouldn't have to have a gun. Unfortunately, for us who live out in the country, we don't carry a cop in the back of our pocket. It's Coda Boy 32 Whew. I'm fired up. It's going to be an interesting week coming up, man. We're going to be doing some testing of a lot of different ammos. We're going to be doing a new rifle build, that build series I was talking to you guys about. Yeah, I did go out to the SHOT Show, kind of kept it low-key because I had a guilt for not going up to Richmond, Virginia. But I tell you what, to the patriots up there in Richmond who stood 22,000 strong, I salute each and every one of you guys. It's Coda Boy 32. We always end it like this. You see that thing right there behind me? That is a flag. And that is a flag of freedom. It's a flag that has the public... Well, I'm going to say I'm getting my words tied up here. I was doing pretty good there. But you know what? Our Constitution and our Bill of Rights are there for the people, not for the government to destroy our ability to have the pursuit of happiness, the right to bear arms, and the freedom of speech, and to keep our property where it belongs. That's all I got.
All right, guys, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support the red, white, and blue. God bless America. Those men and women in uniform who support our Constitution. It was originally written by our founding fathers. 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. And there's going to come a time, guys, I feel like these assholes up there in Northern Virginia and all these big municipalities that want to rule the rural areas. Also, Virginia's trying to get rid of uh, the delegates for the uh, Electoral College. They want to go with a popular vote. So what they're going to do is they're going to say, we are going to vote the way the popular vote goes across the trending of the, of the United States, which is total bullshit because, again, they do not represent the entire people of Virginia, just a little area of Virginia. This shit's getting real. And as long as these assholes continue to move forward with these just incredibly unconstitutional laws, I fear that... Our courts are not going to be able to provide the right answer for which we, the people, need. Let's go to Boy 32. I'm out. Y'all be good.